this image speaks for, for itself. Um, you have to kill me to stop me. With the clap from you. Um, I was born in Melbourne. I grew up with uh, my father was Mauritian um, and my mum was Italian. Um, and uh, we were very family orientated, meaning uh, we always did a lot with our families together. I think I was uh, like any normal uh, boy who wanted to play football. Um, you know, uh, I'm sure I was naughty at times. Um, I kept to myself a little bit, I think. Um, but, but uh, you know, I, I think that I was someone that was affectionate, um, that loved being around my family and, 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 and other friends. And um, yeah, uh, and I hope to think that I was uh, good to people as well as a kid, yeah. As a child, who were your inspirations? Uh, I think, first of all, my father, who uh, was involved in soccer or football, I should say. Um, I used to watch him uh, play and train, um, and, and that's what, obviously, uh, uh, I followed. And, and also my mum. Uh, you know, I think every young boy, uh, you're always a mummy's boy, and I'm not ashamed to say I am a mummy's boy, um, because my mum did a lot for me. Um, and, you know, I'm very grateful for that. What is the hardest thing you had to go through in your life? Uh, well, my father died at a young age. I was only 11, I think. So, growing up, I didn't have that father figure uh, with me. It was only my mum. So, you know, at a young age, when you're a boy, you know, when you lose a parent, it, it's difficult because you only have You, know, you have your mum, who's beautiful, but she's playing the role of mum and dad. And my mum done a fantastic job um, in raising me. Can take it. <laughs> Manchester is... or Tottenham. How does an Australian manage to be a professional player and has evolved in big clubs in England like you? It's difficult. Um, like you said, we are we're not the number one sport, so You know, you have to work hard. That's number one, and, and dedication. And you gotta uh, really believe of what you can do because the, the opportunity for Australians is very low. Um, so I was lucky enough uh, to be able to get given that opportunity. Um, and I'm, you know, forever grateful for the people that uh, gave me that chance and that believed that I could play, you know, one day in Europe. Um, but it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifice. You need some luck. Um, come from Australia, um, and we're proud of what we do. And you know, m not just myself, but there's a lot of Australian footballers that have succeeded at high level, um, and it's a big thing for us. So it's uh, good to be part of that. Can we have a look at the next picture on the on the iPad? I show you. This image speaks for for itself. Um, Berbatov broke my nose. Um, it's part of football. You, you have to kill me to stop me. Um, and, and that's who I am. And, you know, in that photo, yeah, it doesn't look great, but, you know, I'll do anything I can to help my teammates achieve an objective. Um, and sometimes you don't. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, you'll do anything it takes. And, you know, I've always been that one to do anything it takes to achieve a common goal. I always wanted to be a footballer, um, and I, I didn't. I wasn't too good at school. I didn't know, you know, I'd get given this opportunity, which I'm very grateful for. Um, but it, it's, uh, you know, it's great to see that, you know, sometimes if you work hard and you dedicate yourself to something, that one day you might get a chance. Is it one of the best memory for you as a coach? Yeah. Um, it, it was an emotional season because this was my first year. 
Um, and at, at the start, uh, people doubted. People doubted me. Didn't believe in me to make it easier. Um, and uh, my first five games, we won one, lost one, won one, and then we lost three in a row. Um, and people didn't believe in what we wanted to achieve. And after that, I think we only lost maybe one game. Um, and we played uh, the best football probably the competition has seen. Um, and we did that two years in a row. Um, so it's, it's a, it was a very special time. Melbourne City made a very emotional video when you, when you announced your departure for France to your players. Was it one of the most difficult moments of your life? Yeah, uh, in that time, yes. Um, I'd worked with a, a special group of players uh, for a long time. Um, and because this opportunity came very sudden, um, it was literally, we played our last game and after three days, I have to come to France. Um, so it, it, was, it was difficult because I was leaving a, a group of players that I got really close with um, on and off the pitch and we developed a special bond. I'm not afraid to say, yeah, I've cried, that is it. You know, I'm, I'm, I cry sometimes and, you know, I'm not afraid to say that um, because um, that day was a difficult day to say goodbye. You had many successes in your career as a coach. Are you afraid of failing down, of failure? Uh, I fail every day. I fail every day um, because I'm not perfect. Um, I get things wrong in training. Um, I make mistakes. So I, I fail every day. I don't just fail one day. I fail every day. But with that failure, uh, you hope to get better and you hope to grow. Then you came to France, to Troyes. What were your first feelings about the city, about the club, about coming to France in general? The city was really historical and beautiful, I think. Um, even though it's a small city, I really, I really like Troyes. The decision to come was the right decision uh, because I believe in the project. I believe in what, um, what we sort of want to do here. Um, but I know it takes time. I know everything takes time. But I believed in the way um, we want the club to grow um, and being able to get on that journey um, is, a, is a special moment for me. Um, and France, I've been here before. Uh, me and my family, we love uh, coming to France in, in the summer. Um, so coming to a new country is nothing, nothing uh, different, but also it's hard to say goodbye to your family um, because you, you don't get to see them. But uh, this is a new uh, life. Uh, they will come and live here and we will be part of um, and embrace the French people and uh, the French culture and it, it's, great to, it's great to be part of that. George, Ralph and Peter also join you in this new adventure. Can you talk us, can you talk about them? Y yeah, um, uh, Peter uh, has, got, has got recommended to me. Um, uh, we spoke uh, once or twice um, and uh, it, it was a good, it was good, um, a good talking, good talk. Um, he's a very great guy, he's knowledgeable, he's a nice man and he's a good person and hard worker, which I think is what you need. Uh, George uh, came just after Eric, so he came uh, when I uh, took charge. Uh, and he's great. He's very good at his job. He's loyal. He's hardworking. He knows what to look at in the style. Um, and he's a good, very good friend. So we've become very close. And Ralph, I've, I've known for nearly 10 years. So when I was a player, Ralph was working at, at Melbourne City. Um, and when I retired, we worked together. Um, and we developed a very, very close relationship. Um, and he's a great person. So with myself coming here, to have the support of those three um, and me support them, um, I think it was very valuable. Um, and we're very grateful that they're here. I'm very grateful that they're here. Um, but they're good people. Um, and we're lucky to have them here. 
Can you tell us about your daily life? Are you always focused on football? Or do you have little habits or other activities outside of work? <sighs> not, not really. Um, you know, I, uh, I work long. I don't sleep a lot. Um, I'm trying to always learn. You know, so it, it's, it's one of those things that I'm okay with. You know, um, I, I enjoy what I do. Um, I enjoy learning. Uh, and again, this is all I'm concentrated with. And when my family come, I will be also, you know, concentrating to be a husband and a father. Uh, but for the time now, you know, I, I just want to concentrate um, to get better uh, and to help the club as best as I can. Are you always like this on pitch? Yes. Uh, you know, um, I'm always like this. You know, I, I expect the players to give me everything. And so I expect myself to give everything to the players. Um, and that's what I believe in. Uh, and, I, and I won't stop. You know, sometimes uh, uh, I'm maybe sometimes too much. Uh, but for me, I'm, I don't care. Uh, it's, I want to show my players that I care about them and I want to help them as best way possible. And if it takes me doing this every day of my life, then it does. I, I have no problems doing this. How do you evaluate the global level of our championship? You know, you have probably the best players in the world in a whole competition. So the competition is very good. You have great players here, great teams, um, great coaches. Um, So the level is the highest I've ever worked with as a, being a coach. Um, coming to Troyes, I didn't know what to think, even though I watched a lot of games. Um, but honestly, the players have done fantastically well. They've really um, wanted to change um, some things and they've really followed what we, what we believe in now and what we're trying to build here. Uh, and it's great to see that um, they've really took this on board and I'm very happy for this. You show what ment mental is because I thought uh, second half, I won't lie, we dropped off. We dropped off everything, okay? So I understand that, okay? But, but, when it was time to dig in, that's what you get. I, I, so I think it's to off. always know that you can always do better um, and just because you get three points it, it's not a time to relax it's actually a time to work harder um, and we, we must understand that if we want to continue to grow that we must keep working harder and harder and uh, that's what that's what it will be um, I don't believe in days off there'd be no days off for the players um, because we want to get better Um, and, you know, the players need to understand uh, they need to work hard to achieve things. You're not always guaranteed anything. You're not guaranteed anything in life. But if we can work hard and try to be better, it might give us a better chance than normal. Um, and that's what I wanna, wanted to share with the players. You made people proud after your first win in Strasbourg, including the fans. You met them here at the stadium. Um, and it is said that you told them you were ready to go to the war with them. <laughs> yeah, uh, every game is like this. Um, you know, I just want to, obviously the fans uh, support us at every game, home and away. Um, and they um, scream and they cheer. Um, so I just wanted them to know that If you're screaming and cheering, um, I want to do whatever I can uh, to help you guys and to show that you know we will uh, try to do our best every game. Um, and sometimes it doesn't always happen, but if we can show that we're trying and we, we're, we're putting a lot of effort in, um, that we, we want to show them and respect them because they come to watch us. Um, and I'll do anything I can and everything I can uh, to make that happen. Talking about being proud, what are you most proud of your life? 
to be a husband and to be a father. Um, you know, I think to be able to, you know, to help your kids, um, especially I have two girls. So if I can be there for the, there for them as much as possible, and if they if I can teach them one thing, um, to be good people, um, it's great. And also a husband. Um, football is a difficult uh, difficult for the for wives because um, you don't spend a lot of time. So I hope that I'm a good husband, and I hope to improve to be a better husband uh, because I don't get to see my wife a lot. After a few weeks in France, what can you say to conclude the interview in French? Merci à tous. <laughs> <laughs>